I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. this mess? Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. The boys in front of the river. If you ask me, he's like, what? believe you're alive. They killed everyone, Corvo. They killed everyone to cover it all up. Then they took Emily with them and they left. I couldn't do anything to protect her. Please find her. Make her safe. All his talk of being an honorable military man, but Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. Something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died. It had been building up. Martin was acting strange, going quiet if any of us were near, whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton looking out in the room. I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had, and worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. They would have killed me too, but Havelock spared me. Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. Please. Talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much and she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel said this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the watch won't see him. Was a crime against natural philosophy itself. 
which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system. I've attuned it so that we will... You may navigate the fields of battle with these, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Arc Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. Stupid cut. What? Why is no one making rounds over here? What? Why is no one making rounds over here? Pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With this device, we can send them. Put them on, As you wish, Corvo. When this arc pylon is charged, no one will dare come near us. When I find you, it's going to be bad. Where are you? Description. A device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. Now that you've eliminated the City Watch, I can find my way out of here. But there's no way I can help Emily the way you can. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you where you need to go. One last trip, I expect. Thought I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We'll need to get out of here soon. The Admiral controls the military now, Martin's high overseer, and Pendleton's in favor with the aristocracy and Parliament. They need Emily, of course. But if Havelock senses that it's all about to fall down around him, who knows what he's liable to do? Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. Thank God I can get to the
This is it, sir. I suspect Havelock Martin and Lord Pendleton landed there a while ago and went into the lighthouse. Knowing them, they're not giving up without a fight. I remember hearing the Admiral and Martin talking about this place as where they'd hold it up if they had to. Anybody going in has to breach the fort and the gatehouse. Then there's only one way to the top. All I can say is that it's been a pleasure serving with you. Maybe after all this is settled, we'll see each other again. Good luck, Colonel. If anyone deserves it, you do. Give my best to Emily. After she's on the throne, she won't have time for an old man like me. I knew you were sharp, Corvo. But somehow you managed to get through all this mess without losing sight of what really matters. For that, I respect you. The city's gonna pull itself up, I believe. Too many good people here to let it all turn to ashes. I'd best be going. The battlefield's no place for an old sailor like me. That time is long past. Good luck, my friend.
checks out. Don't let me find you. Kill everyone.
Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Indeed, I believe so. So ends the Interregnum, and now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age brought about by your hand. Darkness never comes like all. Yeah, sometimes dark it helps where and decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. Farewell, Corvo. Hatred is never the right path. Yeah, a lot of people choose it. But it's never the right one. Now let's start on this one real quick, since I have the time. One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Except. Why should an empress be different? She just wasn't. But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Da -da -da -da. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserve to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built.
have his power, his was better. got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk in a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah that hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. So I started without you. Turns out we're here on the... I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. Go on. Get off the property or we'll lock you up too. You have to give me back my time card. I can't get back in. You had no... Take it. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. I need you to come on that. Sir Mitzvay! Watch out! I'm going to do this. Fuck it.
Attention. Under plague conditions, failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. Assassin, help! You hear me? Get around him! Rothwild's got a stubborn reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. He's probably close to his office. We should start there.
Ken. Yeah, look at me. A fly next to you, but I'm your master, ain't I? Killed a hundred of your kind, and I'll kill a thousand more before I'm done. Drain you, then feed you to my butchers. The mournful crop. that lot. No, sir. They don't have hearts, I think. Yeah, it's nice. I the outside, right? How long? How much? Lucy? Oh, no. What? How did you get in here? You're down, right? What are you doing here? Who hired you? I'm here for information about the Delilah. Who hired you? Are you here from the Regent? Maybe he's here to put you in your special chair, Rothwild. Shut up! Kill him, and I'll tell you all about Delilah. And pay you as well. Quiet! She's giving you very bad advice. You won't be taking me alive. This crap with the strike will blow. I know all about the Delilah. All of it. And I can give you exactly what you want. Please do. Not so fast. I need something from- You know, I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? Because it's a long and messy solution. And I'm gambling you're not the kind of man who likes that. Make a deal with me. And I can tell you what you want and pay you for your trouble. I'll consider it. a makeshift interrogation.
An intruder has been seen on the slaughterhouse grounds. He is to be captured. Drink tonight for the good men you kill. <sighs> An intruder has been seen on the slum house grounds. He is the captain of the killed on sight. We have the full compliance of the law and the city watch. you down I've seen you kill a man without ruffling his hair barrister Tim lives up in the legal district I know it pretty well from what I hear the Timsch family is practically at war with itself talk to his niece Tali if you can I should probably tag along when you go crazy rich people are buying up a lot of that Sokolov security technology these days keeps the weepers and looters out I might be useful Let's go. As a young girl, Delilah was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. Years later, a painter in Sokolov Circle. Barrister Arnold Timsch paid her to paint portraits. Him, I knew. A nobleman, born rich. And now he was making a second fortune, seizing the assets of played victims for the Lord Regent. But Barrister Timps was also fighting a private war with his own niece. Something to do with the family fortune. Lurk was probably right. We needed to speak with the niece first. Her feud with the old barrister was something we could use. I got a message to the barrister's niece, and she claimed to know things about Delilah that no one else did. 
but the knowledge would have a price. I wasn't surprised. I went to meet her. Peace out, people. See you guys next time.